Welcome to NetSuite's demonstration of NetSuite planning and budgeting demand forecasting capabilities. Starting on the main page, I will use my favorites tab to navigate to my sales unit by customer form. Forecast values for closed months are automatically updated with sales unit quantities from NetSuite. I can now begin to adjust my forecast for the selected customer. I'll log September as I feel confident with this projection and then adjust the current year forecast to 3,500 for the first product. I'll utilize the demand trend selection for the other products. I can choose from a variety of trending options, but for this demonstration, I'll incorporate seasonality by selecting prior year actuals. I enter a 10% adjustment for this year's demand versus last year's. Now I'll save my demand forecast. To adjust for a specific product, I'll right-click on the product name and select Sales by Product. The selected product is now in the point of view and I can see all customers who have purchased this product. If we anticipate an increase in demand for this product, we can use the Grid Spread feature. I will apply a 10% adjustment for this product's demand forecast. The adjustment is proportionately spread to all customers, resulting in an aggregate 10% adjustment for this product. Now I want to validate my forecast using a statistical prediction based on historical sales volumes. I'll focus my analysis at a higher level by changing my point of view to academic customers. I'll also change my items to focus on all inventory items. From the action menu, I select predictive planning. I can see that my forecast is higher than my statistical prediction. I'll drill into individual customers for greater visibility. I can use the paste option to change my forecast to utilize the prediction. I can choose to apply the prediction, best case or worst case, or I can keep my active forecast and use the analysis as a checkpoint. To see the impact my forecast has on my financial forecast, I'll navigate to the product sales revenue form using the native tabs at the bottom. I see my unit demand forecast combined with the impact to income, cost of sales, with the combined gross profit and profit margin. What if we want to make a top level adjustment to our demand forecast? I'll navigate to the top level adjustment tab. As I drill into my customer categories, I see my demand projection for total new customers is very low. I'll use the grid spread feature to make a top level adjustment in FY22. For this demonstration, I'll define a target demand of 50,000 units. Once saved, I can see my target number. Finally, we can visualize our projections using the revenue dashboard, which I have defined as tab 6 in this environment. I'll focus this dashboard on product revenue, and I can see my forecast projections by each customer category. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.